Okay, this is going to be a real short video on how to check the pressure in your blow-off valve. Uh, if you've got a turbocharged or supercharged intake system on your engine, you really should consider having a safety feature called a blow-off valve on it. That's this device right here. It says blow-off valve right on it. And the purpose of this is primarily to relieve pressure if for whatever reason it gets excessive. A lot of times if you run a boost and you dump off the throttle really hard, pressure will build up. It has no place to go if you don't have a blow-off valve and it can create an unnecessary pressure that you really don't want. With this blow-off valve, you can set it to whatever pressure you want. And I'm going to demonstrate to you what I've done with my air compressor here and this regulator to show you how I've set up mine. Obviously, this is just a piece of tubing here. I've got it capped off of each end. And, of course, the blow-off valve with the regulator attached to my compressor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial it in, and you're going to see I have mine set to 10 pounds. Obviously, very conservative. That's where I want it right now in my project. I can boost it up later if I want. But for now, I want this thing to pop open at 10 pounds. So you just dial in the boost, and you can see right there, it's evacuating the air out of this valve here when it gets past 10 pounds. I'll back it off again. Dial it in and you can see after 10 pounds it's going to release pressure. Now for a lot of you that may be ridiculously low. A lot of cars are running 20 and 30 and higher pounds of boost. That's great. The important part is just to make sure you know your system and uh, test it before you rely on it. Otherwise, serious damage can occur. Now, if you want to dial in more performance or more pressure, you just screw in this bolt. And the more it screws in, the more it will compress the spring inside here, and the more pressure it will take to open this valve. And you'll just have to do testing until you get it to the point you want. This right here is the reference line to the turbocharger. I'm not going to get into that now. That's going to be a separate video. But obviously this connects to the compressor outlet on the turbo. And it's a reference signal which will work with and against the spring pressure here and cause other kinds of changes in the pressure in your system. And if you don't understand that, it's something you should also study. But for now, I just wanted to go into how to test your system, know your system. It's really simple to do. Hope this helps some people. Bye.